Today, we're looking at this super sweet, tiny vehicle to load adapter. Here, you can see that it's sitting right next to the Hyundai Ionic 5 fob. Obviously, you can use this with any other electrical vehicle as well. With this adapter, it lets you power up any 120 volt AC devices and with up to 15 amps output. If you plan on going camping or like fixing a house in the middle of nowhere, this adapter is an absolute must have. It's unbelievably so tiny, I just leave it in a trunk because I never know when I might need it. Let's go to my Ionic 5 and put this thing to good use. So go ahead and open the uh, lid cover and just plug it in. And that's it. As soon as the lights start blinking, you can feel free to plug in anything you want. Almost anything, of course. It feels rugged, and it looks rugged, but I don't know if it's weatherproof, meaning don't try to charge your stuff in the middle of the rainstorm. Here, we're just plugging it in to my laptop. And there you go, it's getting power. When you're done with the adapter, go ahead and press and hold this button right here. Once you press and hold, you'll hear a double chime. And that's when you can press the unlock button on the fob. You can hear a nice click. Once it's clicked, you can fully depress the uh, button. And then now you can pull the adapter out. If for whatever reason you can't pull it out, go ahead and go into the trunk all you have to do is remove this port, this cover, and then pull on this red thing. You'll hear a nice clunk, and that's when you know you can pull the adapter out now. Of course, you can use the adapter when the car is fully off, as seen here, or when the car is on. Now, I highly recommend changing the settings of the uh, V2L adapter. So when you first power up your car, go ahead and go into Home, click on EV, Click on V2L at the bottom right hand corner. And then choose your minimum charge. I'm going to leave mine at 30%. That way, if the adapter depletes about 70%, I still have at least 30% left to go to a charging station or whatnot. At 20%, it's kind of risky because when you drive up to a charger at 15%, uh, there's no way you can do super fast charging. So I would highly recommend leaving it at 30%. All right, hopefully this video helps you understand what this adapter is and how to use it. I really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel, liking this video, and thanks for watching.